Hey everybody, it's the Wyco Nomad with Wyco Resiliency. Time for a YouTube video. Remember to do the YouTube things like subscribe, share, comment, ring the notify the bell, all that good stuff. Hey, we're drinking a nice coffee tonight. You know I like it. There we go. Rattle, rattle, rattle. There we go. Okay. Some of you sent me some messages, private DMs about the... <sighs> so, two people that I admire very much and that I've learned from. Slurp. I don't know how I can't slurp. If I slurp this, I'm going to be wearing it. Okay? That whole... I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't slurp. So, the... Um, uh, Pastor Joe Fox, PJ, people would always comment on his YouTube about him when he, at, he needed brain juice. Kofifi, brain juice. He would slurp. I never noticed it until someone said it. I'm like, oh, I guess he does. Then Pastor, uh, Pastor Bear, um, TJ, Bear Independent, got wind of it. And he would sit there and he would just do this like little, almost like a slurping whistle. I can't do it. I just, and I'm not even going to pretend. So out of admiring these guys as good brothers and pastors and just men of high respect, I'm like, well, I can't do that. So, but I can go, ah. <laughs> that's where that come, came from guys. So just so you know, um, <laughs> I'm finding my own ground here. But what are we going to talk about tonight? Man, we talked about books and none of you, care, none of you gave a shit about what books I'm reading. But that's cool. That's cool. You know, that is boring. I mean, why read something that can educate you? Your training. Yeah. Your firearm training. The pew pews. When you pull out the pew pews and you're training with them. I'd almost lay money that probably 90% of you are training wrong. How dare you say that? Because you are. Most likely you're going to a range by yourself, indoor range, sending your paper target down, and you're going, bang, 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 bang. Because you can't mag dump, you can't, necessarily some I mean some places uh there's a place in Colorado uh Blue Core you go through some tests you can you know pull and pow, pow, pow. you still can't mag dump you gotta da, 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 you gotta can't you can't just there's they're timed some ranges won't even allow you to use uh like a big bore handgun what they consider big bore 10 millimeter that's a big bore sorry I can't use 10 millimeter here sir uh that's way too high of a caliber Okay. Hey, I'm going to go down to this outdoor range. I'm going to set up my target. Oh, look at that. So it's down there. And that's cool. I got my AR and it's out there at 300 yards. And I'm going to use all my, my magnifier. Cool. And my EOTech. And I got this really fancy, you know, Trigicon. And, you know, I got my ACOG. Yeah. And look at my five, five times magnifier. Ooh, I got the cool guy stuff. You know, you pop up, you pop, 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 shooting paper, standing right there. That's what I was, or, hey, I got, I got my rifle rest. I'm sitting there, going to dial it in. That's important. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's important, especially hunting season. You want to dial that in, scope it out, you know, crack. Ah, got to do, got to figure out. That, that's important, okay? That's a very important training. You want to sight that shit in. You want to make sure that you're, on target. Take out my. I'm gonna sit down. Cool. You're sitting down. Yep. Yeah, this is in the shit. When the shit hits fan, this is gonna be my sniping rifle. Cool. You laying down and hide, shooting from it. No. Oh, you're sitting in a chair. You got everything. Pop, pop. Yeah. Throw your ass on the ground. Shoot from it. It's a totally different feel. Totally different. Totally different shape on how you're gonna do things sitting on a bench and everything 
how many of you are setting up obstacles? How many of you are actually training with your friends? How many of you are shoot, move, communicate? That is actual shit hits the fan training. If you're static standing in a single line shooting at paper where it's not shooting back and you're not moving and you're not with your tribe, your community, your mag, you're training wrong, plain and simple. So the guys in your the guys and gals in your group, have you shot with them? Do you know they're safe? Do you know if they know how to handle their weapons correctly? There's people within my mag. I won't shoot next year. I've never I've never seen you shoot. I don't know what your safety skills are. Oh, that's mean. No, it isn't. That's preservation of life. If you don't know how to shoot, move, communicate, and you don't know how someone else in your group functions, how do you know you're safe? Okay? You know, I, I've been to shooting ranges in groups where there's people there. there there's no damn way I'd ever freaking go to a fr uh, shooting range next to them. You know, when you're sitting there and you're shooting... Your target and a guy comes up and he just walks up next to you and just starts cracking off rounds next to your ear. It's like, well, yeah, I was wearing an ear pro, but dude, you just, what the hell? Know who you're shooting with. So within your mag for your training, have some SOPs of safety and rules set up before you even shoot with someone. I know that's some hardcore stuff right there. No one wants to hear that. But... You don't know that person. You don't know how safe they are. And if you're going to be moving from target to target and they're going to be moving around doing stuff, you got to know that they're going to be safe. And that they're willing to learn, willing to listen, willing to be rebuked. Same with you. I mean, you know, if someone turns around and like, hey, you know, you did that. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I didn't even, I'm used to just shooting alone. I didn't even think about that. Sorry, ice cube. <laughs> so, shooting by yourself in a single in a single file range, long distance shooting at one paper target, at one level, at one yard, at one distance. I'm out there with my AR. I set my target up at 300 yards. Cool, awesome, effective range. What if the target's at 150? What if the target's at 50? What if the target's at 7 yards? Well, I'll use my handgun. Really? The concept of a handgun is to get to your rifle. Are you moving around? Are you going from target to target? Do you have a target set up with 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, you know? And do you have someone call out, you know, 1, 5, 7, 2, 3, 3, 1, where you're just pop, 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 pop? Oh, I do that alone. That's not the same as someone randomly challenging you. Open range, different things. Someone calls out, you know, 100 yards is one, 200 yards is five, and then have different things. And a person, you know, calls out, you know, three, two, three, three, one, two, five, four, one, four. And you're going pop, 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 pop. Training like that? How's your training? Or are you just there by yourself? Bang, bang, bang. Oh, I'm going to use my other gun. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to use this one. When you train, do you go in with a purpose? Or are you just throwing lead down the range? I know a lot of people just throw lead down the range. Hell, I was one of them for a long time. Go down to the shooting range. Hey, I'm going to, sp I'm going to go down the range for an hour. I'd blow through 200 rounds of freaking ammo in an hour and a half. And just shooting paper. Didn't achieve anything. Then I started going in. I started using sticky pads. Yeah. And this is the big, this is a bigger one. I don't have the smaller ones. But, you know, the regular normal sticky pads. Take one of those. Stick them on the target. Different areas. So when I shot, pop, pop. 
aim small, miss small. So I wouldn't go for the large target. I was aiming for the three by five card. And that, well, that's not a three by five. Um, I was aiming for the sticky note. And I wasn't sending my handgun out at 50 damn yards. I was doing it at seven yards, 10 yards. That's it. Okay. I'm not sitting there going, yeah, I'm going to take my handgun out. And I'm going to, no, no. I get it, but there's the, the guy, the, the, the Dickens drill. You know, shoot 40 yards away. If I'm shooting 40 yards away, I'm using my damn rifle. No, I'm not worried about my handgun. Do we want to train the hand? Eh, maybe yes, maybe no. You know, let me tell you something, you know, if someone's outside of like 25, uh, someone's outside of 25 feet, it might be questionable whether it was a self-defense shot or not. Got to remember, got to answer for that. We're training for shift, man. Is it here yet? We've been waiting for shit hits the fans since we started prepping decades ago. Still hasn't happened. It's right around the corner, man. Sleeper cells. Yeah, there, there probably is sleeper cells. Probably going to have a kinetic war with World War III here real soon, too. Yeah, it's going to come to my front door. Really? Is it? It's possible. But is it probable? Got to make sure I have all my ammo. Got to have my, all my guns. I got an MRE. Cool. You know how I feel about that shit, guys. Not knocking the guns. I have firearms. Yes, they are important for security of your family. But they are not the be-all, end-all of everything prepping. You are going to need water, food, sanitation, first aid... Hell, even entertainment, more often than you're going to need your firearm. And if you have your need to use your firearm more often than any of those things, you're in the wrong area and you should have got out. Sorry. Sometimes truth hurts. You, you need, well, that falls into you need to have an area study. And we talked about area studies before. But your firearm training... You're probably training wrong. Set up times with your group. Have a sit down prior to a shoot. See where everyone's at with safety. Make sure everyone understands the rules within the tribe of how you're going to handle marksmanships. Have set standards. You need to be able to do this. We're going to go to a field and we're going to do that. Sta bang, bang, bang. Okay. Pop, pop. We're going to do that. But we're going to have a set of standards that you have to go by. That's extremely important before you even start run, shoot, move, you know, shoot, move, communicate. Okay? Before you even get that, you need to have everyone in your group achieve the minimum standards of your group or tribe. Well, I'm a lone wolf. Cool. Lone wolf. Oh. Have those SOPs. Sit down. This is what is expected out of you as someone within this group that will be using a firearm. Jimmy, who's Jimmy, who's got a lot of problems that he's not running, jumping, he's not going to be crawling because of health, age, whatever. Not going to be on your combat team. Sorry. Um, I have a bad knee right now. Um, my <sighs> PCL is really, it's jacked up. I cannot do certain training things with some of the groups that I train with because my knee causes me to stutter step or I, I just, I don't have the maneuverability. They're like, you're off. You're not on this. You're not helping. You're, you're, you are worthless to us. You are a liability to yourself and everyone in this group. So I can't do that training. I'm off that team because of my knee, because of an injury. Man, that really sucks. You must really hate those guys. No, I respect that shit. Because if I'm doing something and my knee gives out and I stutter step, I, do, I could cause myself to get killed. I could cause someone else to get killed. 
Know your limitations. Not everyone's going to be on the, the frickin' assault team. Not everyone's gonna be on your CQE team. Sorry, CQB. CQE is something totally different. Um, close quarters extraction. Not close quarters battle. So, how are you training? You just by yourself shooting paper from one position, or are you getting with your mag, your team, your tribe, your community, and are you working as a cohesive unit? Do you have your SOPs, your standard operating procedures on what is expected out of each person? Have you seen where everyone is with their basic marksmanship skills, and have you done basic shoot, move, communicate before you get to your advance? If you haven't done this, you are training wrong. Plain and simple, you're training wrong. Something to think about, okay? But with that, I know this was a rough one. This is a mean one, but we're at 16 minutes and I'm gonna cut this one short. I'm not gonna ramble on too much longer. But with that, thank you everybody. As always, watch your six. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching all that good stuff. I'm 252 people already. By the time I do this, it might be 254, but thank you. I appreciate it. Watch your six. Shalom. I'm out.